in the light of God's holiness, Isaiah saw his sinfulness. And that's why Isaiah said, Woe is me, for I am ruined, because I'm a man of unclean lips. Isaiah knew that these were not just words. Unclean lips came out of a sinful heart, which is really, so to speak, the heart of the problem. And I live among a people of unclean lips, and for my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. I see my sinfulness in the light of God's holiness. But what did God do? Then one of the seraphim flew to me with a burning coal in his hand, which he had taken from the altar with tongs. He touched my mouth with it. By the way, fire is a purifier. That's the symbolism here. He said, Behold, this has touched your lips. Your iniquity is taken away, and your sin is forgiven. Your iniquity is taken away, meaning it is pardoned, it is abolished, it is departed, it's gone, it's out of here. And when he says it's forgiven, it means it's atoned for, it's canceled. <laughs> and Isaiah, I would think for the first time in his life, understood the grace of God. And so when God said, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for me? What did Isaiah say? Here am I. And then he said something else. Send me. Again, this is part of the essence of the statement, Here am I or here I am. Lord, I'm ready to do your will. John Piper said this, We will love God to the degree that we recognize the magnitude of our sins and the immensity of God's grace. To forgive them do we really understand the forgiveness of God the grace of God what will keep us going saying here I am to our Lord I believe one of those things the fuel for our faithfulness towards God would be the fact that he has forgiven us if we truly understand what that means then we will say here I am to God